Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God and we are so excited about what God is going to do in this season and in your life. Uh, I just want to share with you some uh, very, very important uh, updates. Uh, don't forget, we do have some events coming up and um, that we have been sharing with you. And uh, they are on our Facebook page, some back to school events. Uh, if you are in need of school supplies, there are some things taking place this Saturday. Tampa Diamond Divas will be at the Tampa Mall. 12 to 3 o'clock p.m. and uh, it is a free event uh, that uh, you can partake in go ahead and look at our personal Facebook page and um, and get get wind of that and and definitely um, take time to to see if you if you are in need of back school back to school supplies um, then it is free to you and you can uh, definitely stop by and and patronize this particular event um, it is free to the public first come first serve once again Tampa Diamond Divas is hosting a back to school event and uh, you can stop by get some school supplies for your little ones or you know whatever grade that they are in and uh, you can definitely uh, patronize and sow a seed into this organization. They do things throughout the year. So this is not the only event that they will do. They have other events that uh, they partake in and give back to the community. And once again, that is a back to school event. School is opening soon, being hosted by Tampa Diamond Divas. August the 7th from 12 to 3 p.m. at the Tampa Mall. The address is 5400 Bush Boulevard, Temple Terrace, 33617. And also, don't forget, here in New Jersey, there is a back-to-school event, and that is August the 28th, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that is being hosted by the founder, Elder Beverly L. Darisol. And that is going to be held at Redeeming Life Full Gospel Ministry. The address is 246 Irving Avenue, Millville, New Jersey, 08332. If you have an event that you would like for us to make mention of, please feel free to uh, send us an email. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Once again... Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Send us the details for your event and we will make mention of it on the air as well as sharing it with our social media platform. And let me say thank you to our listening audience. You are part of our ministry family. Uh, we greatly appreciate you. We thank you for those who are tuning in via Amazon podcast, Google podcast, radio line, reason.com. We welcome each and every one of you. Spryker, Tumblr, iHeartRadio. Uh, listen, there is a whole list and I don't want to get in trouble by not mentioning a platform, but know that you are in our hearts. You are in our prayers uh, every Tuesday. It is our day of intercessory prayer. And on that particular day, we ask the Lord to lead us and guide us in our prayers for you, our listening audience. We greatly appreciate your words of encouragement. We thank you for your prayers as well. And so we just want to love on you, let you know that we appreciate you. And it is our honor to be able to serve you through the word of God. What we're going to share with you today is, listen, I hear you at some point. When are we going to hear the voice of God? And once we begin to hear his voice, I believe that it should shift you into a, a, a place and a presence that you no longer seek your will, 
but that of the Father. And so we're going to share with you, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit has really, really been dealing with me concerning prayer. He has just been uh, dealing with me wholeheartedly when it comes to prayer and uh, making sure that our prayers are not only heard, but that our prayers are answered. That's right. We want to make sure that our prayers are heard and we want to make sure that our prayers are accepted and acted upon that is so important and and so that's what we're going to share today to God be the glory I believe he is speaking and I want to hear what he says unto the church I am the church I am uh, I, I am a believer and and so yesterday we begin to share with you the will of God uh, the will of God is that uh, we would believe have faith that he gave us eternal life through his son Jesus Christ and so we're going to share with you today first Peter 3 and 12 it reads as follows, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Let me read that again. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. So, let's dive into this. And where it says that, his eyes are over the righteous. Then what is righteous? What is righteousness? What is righteousness? Let's look that up. The quality of being moral or justifiable. Righteous following the instructions of God. Righteous being submissive unto the will of God. Being holy because he calls us to be holy. And so we're going to look at some definitions. Let's look at the difference between righteous and holy. The basic difference between holiness and righteousness is, in the Bible is that holiness is a state of character, while righteousness is a state of position. And so, Scripture says, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. What is your position? Are we going to stand on the side of the things that are pleasing unto God, following His commandments? seeking his will and, and not only are we seeking to do his will but that we do his will on earth as it is in heaven that is the position that he is looking upon and so where we say I hear you let me read first Peter 3 and 12 again for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous he is looking over the ones his eyes are upon those who are standing on the side of righteousness, standing in the position of righteousness. So let me read this definition again. What is the difference between righteousness and holiness? We are called to be holy, but we also have to have a certain position. Be ye holy for I am holy, but I need a certain position. I need a position upon the earth. I need a position upon the earth to stand for righteousness sake, to abhor and to uh, despise the things that God despises. I want to hate the things that he hates, which is sin, the acts of sinful nature. I want to stand on the side of obedience to the will of God. I want to stand in a position of righteousness, meaning upright. I, I cannot compromise. I cannot bend. I cannot fold. But I must stand on the side 
of righteousness. So when we look at the difference between righteousness and holiness, the basic difference between holiness and righteousness in the Bible is that holiness is a state of character, while righteousness is a state of position. Holiness points to who you are, and righteousness points to where you are. Holy is more what you make yourself. Righteousness is what God makes you. We're purified by the word. And the more we take the word in, the more upright. Once we come into the knowledge, and we know that knowledge is experience of God, our position changes. Our outlook changes. It really does. How can we say that we serve God, that we love him, that his son is our, our savior, that the Holy Spirit is our guide, and our position has yet changed? It, it hasn't changed. I believe, and, and listen, it's not that I'm going to argue about this because I'm really not. This is what I believe. I believe that the more I conform unto him, that my old ways are passed away. Everything about me should change. I shouldn't, listen, I, I shouldn't just uh, feel his presence when I'm in prayer or, or when I'm ministering the word, I, I, I can't separate my righteousness. That's what I'm saying. I can't, I can't separate it. And so whether I'm behind the pulpit, behind the microphone on radio or television ministry or teaching a Bible study class or one of the college of ministry courses, my righteousness, my position does not change. I'm on the side of righteousness. I am no longer straddling the fence. I am no longer a double-minded person. My mind is set on doing and following the will of God. And so my conversations has to change. The way I walk and submit myself and present myself, all of that now has to change. Because why? I'm on the side of righteousness. And to God be the glory, here it is in script, Scripture, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. He, his eyes is over us. And his ears are open unto our prayers. And so if you are wondering how to have your prayers heard, accepted, and acted upon, there it is in scripture. There it is. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. And his ears are open unto their prayers. So righteousness is a position. Holiness is where we model ourselves after Christ. Be ye holy for I am holy. And the way we find out to be holy like him is we got to learn about him. What does he consider holy? And listen, it's not our way. It's not in our, listen, it's not in uh, a, a skirt to your ankles, let alone, don't get me wrong, I love my maxi skirts and maxi dresses. I love them simply because when I'm sitting on the roster, I'm covered. I am covered. So, let me tell you something. God is at work. Let me tell you something. He is at work. God is at work upon the earth. And he wants us to hear him. He said, he who hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit says unto the church. That's his will. It's happening. And so, remember, if you want your prayers answered, if you want them heard, <laughs> If you want to gain the attention of God, here it is in scripture. Now that we know, we can do better. 
before we came into this knowledge, before we came into this revelation, we were walking around blindly. We were trying to figure out what in the world, how do I get my prayers answered? Before we came into this knowledge, before this revelation hit our spirit, we were wondering why. We were wondering what what's going on with my prayer life. What's what's going on with my supplications and my petitions that I have submitted unto the Lord. What's going on with those? Well, let me tell you. Were we in the right position? Was I in the position of righteousness? Because it says for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. But catch this before I go to break. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So he's watching. He's paying attention to us. And listen, yes, he knows the intent of our heart. He knows all about us. There is nothing we can hide from him. We can't pretend. No, we can't. So let's get real. I'll be back in a moment. We would like to invite you to visit us on our website at www.angelfergusonministries.com. Once again, we would like to invite you to visit us on our website at www.angelfergusonministries.com. Via the website, you have the opportunity to check out our College of Ministry and Mentoring programs, the length of time of the courses, as well as... Uh, the, the curriculum that we offer, you can order our workbooks via Amazon or you can order directly through us. The option is clearly up to you. But I, I will encourage you that if you would like to take one of the workbooks and do a group study, we can provide you with some great bulk ordering opportunities. Also on our website, you will find our life applications. You will also find Bible study teaching tools. And listen, we are so excited. God is going to uh, just do something wonderful through this ministry. And I don't want to leave you behind. You can partner with us in prayer. There is no financial obligation to become partners in prayer with us whether it's through radio or television ministry or even through the College of Ministry and Mentoring. All you have to do is email us. Request, I like to be one of your partners in prayer. What does that consist of? We lift each other up in prayer. We support one another in programs. If there is something that you have coming up within your ministry, we will make sure that we make mention of it here on the air. And then there are opportunities for you to be a guest here on the Balance of Life Christian Talk Radio. So that is what we offer our partners in prayer. Once again, it is no financial obligation. It is a network of prayer because, listen, we are all on the same side. We're all in the same position, which is to do the will of God on earth as it is in heaven. So once again, visit us on our website and if you would like to be a partner in prayer with us email us today our email address is the balance of life one at yahoo.com and let me not forget i would like to extend an invitation to you for virtual bible study on tonight uh, we will teach at seven o'clock p.m via the facebook page for faith outreach deliverance church bridgeton new jersey uh, you are cordially invited and let me say this if your ministry is in bible study at that time please patronize your local assemblies bible study uh, you can always go back and watch our replay, but I definitely want you to be in attendance at your own ministry. Now, if you are not connected to a ministry or if it is not your Bible study night and if you are definitely free, I would like to invite you to visit with us for virtual Bible study tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. via the Facebook page faith outreach deliverance church bridged in new jersey as we share what the holy spirit will release onto us to share all right let's get back to this word we're looking at the word righteousness 
and we are declaring I hear you Lord I hear you Lord I hear you when we begin to hear I mean really hear him our perspective changes our thoughts change our will changes our desires change because we finally hear what the spirit is saying unto the church and I just believe that once we get in the right position I'm not talking about a physical position I'm talking about a spiritual position once we get in the spiritual position then the eyes of the Lord are over us I want his eyes on me and I want his ears open to my prayers and so that means that there are some things in me that listen I have to get in the place of righteousness it is a position so listen to this the Bible teaches that righteousness is based on what God says about what makes us right in his eyes what makes us right or righteous in God's eyes is not anything that we have done. It is our response to his grace by believing through faith that what God has told us about salvation through his son, Jesus Christ, is true. So remember, we shared that on yesterday. We talked about that yesterday, the will of God. The will of God is that we believe that he gave us eternal life. And that eternal life is through his son, Jesus Christ. So let me read this again. And listen, if you ever want, listen, uh, look things up. All I do is, is I type things up and, and I look at it and I line it up with scripture. So what we're sharing with you today, we looked it up. I'm looking it up now on my other monitor while I'm on the air. And it coincides with the scripture text that we shared on yesterday. So it says, what does the Bible say about righteousness? The Bible teaches that righteousness is based on what God says about what makes us right in his eyes. What makes us right or righteous in God's eyes is not anything that we have done. Meaning there is no amount of preaching. There is no amount of teaching. There is no amount of sowing seeds of faith feeding the poor, those things some people do, but yet they're disobedient. They don't believe that God gave his only begotten son. They say they're just doing it because guess what? They are a good person. So, I want to do what's right in his eyes it is our response to his grace by believing through faith that what God has told us about salvation through his son Jesus Christ is true so that is what that's what the Bible teaches us here's something else a righteous person lives a blameless life or walks uprightly. Someone who is righteous works righteousness. Righteous people speak the truth from their heart. They refuse to gossip or backbite. They refuse to do evil to their neighbor. Righteous people do not accept criticisms or shame from others concerning their neighbors. And, and so what makes us right? Following the commandments of God. Love the Lord thy God with, our the, with all thy heart and mind and with thy soul. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Those things, following the commandments of God. Once again, there is nothing I can do in my flesh, in my carnality, that is going to make me right with God. I can go and give all the bread I want to. I can. But where is my heart? Where is my intent? What is my agenda? What is my purpose? Am I doing it unto the glory of God? 
I don't want to do it just because I'm a good person. I'm a nice person. Mm -mm, no. I want to do what I do because I am instructed by God through the Holy Spirit. What about you? Why are we doing what we do? In the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. In the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Once we receive a revelation and it connects in our spirit, we are now held accountable for what we know. Once it has been revealed, you are now held accountable for what you know. Before it was revealed unto you, you had no knowledge of it. You had no experience of it. You're not held accountable. But now, now that it has been revealed, and I thank you, Father God, that you have revealed your mystery unto me, that the world can't comprehend, because they believe not. But I, you, are believers. And so we thank you for a revelation of your word. We thank you for giving us instructions and directions on how to have your ears open to our prayers. We thank you. And we magnify your name. He's good. And his truth endureth forever. We thank him. We thank him. We thank him. We thank him. We magnify the Lord our God. Listen, I am excited about this word because he revealed something to me. And I receive it in my spirit. And I am seeking to do his will. I'm more concerned about his will than mine. I want to do the things that are pleasing unto him. I want to pray his will for me I desire to pray his will for you and this is his will he desires to have his eyes over the righteous he desires to hear our prayers his ears are open when we are in the position of righteousness and we can't make ourselves righteous it is he through his word through our belief that he gave us eternal life that eternal life is through his son Jesus Christ we believe we have faith and we share the testimony Yes, we do. We share the testimony. And we desire to grow unto spiritual maturity in him. Mm -mm -mm. That's just good in my spirit. That is absolutely good, 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 good. I pray that what we share with you here on the balance of life is food unto your soul and that it is an enlightenment unto your path. One thing about our Father which is in heaven, he knows what we have need of. And when we sincerely desire it, he'll give it to us. You know, as babes, scripture tells us that we desire milk but we can't always be on milk mm -mm. we can't always be on milk there's a time that we have to grow up and that we desire more of him and so I pray for your hunger and your thirst after the knowledge after the experience of him that you will take more time in the precious word of God I pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal unto you mysteries and, and that you will understand. And as you understand, you can apply it to your heart. But until we can get an understanding, we can't apply the truth. But I pray for your understanding today. I pray for the enlightenment 
that you will receive it and that you will walk therein. So take that nugget today over in 1 Peter. The third chapter in the 12th verse. Take that nugget and apply it to your life. Have a blessed day.